the number of tests per day that we've done um, has gone up uh, dramatically, and we want to continue uh, to doing that. State officials are racing to test as many people as possible for COVID-19. Now, all of this comes as Florida is on the brink, if you will, of becoming one of the nation's next hotspots. Governor Ron DeSantis says more than 60,000 people have been tested for the virus in the past couple of weeks. More than 6,700 tests came back positive. The Bay Area is surpassing 750 cases and reporting, unfortunately, 18 deaths. 85 people have died statewide. And as the demand for testing grows, sites are still struggling to secure enough tests. This morning, the Bay Area's biggest coronavirus testing site is reopening. Aid on your side's Melissa Marino is live at Raymond James Stadium with all the details. Good morning, Melissa. Hey, good morning. So they managed to get over a thousand tests to reopen this site here. But again, as with last time this site was open, you must have an appointment and you must be pre screened in order to come here. You cannot just show up. And as you can see, they are here. They're getting ready to open this site up at 8 a.m. Now, last week, the site closed after running out of kits. They went through 900 tests that they had in only a few days. Now, the site has since received more, but they suspect the test will only last a few days. That is why officials, they are pre-screening folks. They're requiring you to set up an appointment time. They will ask you about your symptoms, your travel history, your recent contacts, and if you have any underlying health conditions. So if you want to schedule an appointment, here is what you need to do. You must call the number on your screen. It's 813-272-5900. Now, the testing site has received an additional 1,500 tests. Something else, the hours, they're going to be much shorter this time around. The testing will only be done from 8 a.m. until 11 a.m. because of the heat the last time around. Now, the most important part, they are stressing not only that you have an appointment, but that if you have one, that you show up on time. Otherwise, they say they, you might miss out on your appointment altogether. In Tampa, Melissa Marino, eight on your side. All right, a lot of important information there. Thank you, Melissa. Stay off the beaches and stay at home. Authorities in Pinellas County are finding they have to keep reminding people of the safer at home order in place. Orange barriers right there, signs, caution tape, it's all over the place. You catch it at parking lots, public access ramps, and entrances to beaches like Treasure Island. But guess what? It's not enough to keep people away. Look at that person there, fishing. Police say the safer at home order worked in the very beginning, but now they're seeing more and more people ignoring it. See, the beach is closed, and people keep missing that, and unfortunately, we're getting a lot of this. Well, it's okay. I live here, but it doesn't matter. The beach is closed to everyone. Did you catch that? Treasure Island police say if people keep breaking this safer-at-home order, the city will be forced to take stricter action. And as officials debate whether everyone should be wearing masks, one business is already letting their workers use them to protect themselves. Publix is letting its workers wear gloves and masks while on the job. The move is meant to keep both workers and shoppers all safe. However, Publix will not supply the mask to workers, saying there's already a shortage for health care workers. Instead, Publix employees will have to use their own masks if, if they have them. And the company is also installing plexiglass shields at its registers to help protect their workers. The shields should be installed company-wide by next weekend. You know, it's kind of like the world stopped turning. Right now, small businesses all over the Bay Area are struggling just to stay open and stay afloat. Some, like the newly opened Butters Burgers here in Tampa, had to make the difficult decision to close up shop. It's not the only business throwing in the towel amid the coronavirus pandemic. Dozens of other businesses are fighting to stay alive. And this Wednesday morning, there is some hope. You see, there's money out there to help keep people in business as many local communities face indefinite shutdowns. But you know what? Some business owners have to move quickly as it could take some time to process aid requests and the money could run out. By this Friday, small businesses will be able to apply for a federal payroll protection loan. All of this comes from the virus relief bill that Congress passed to help keep people employed. Now, for the most part, businesses will not have to pay back what they spend on payroll, rent, and utilities. There are some other options out there, but they are loans that you will have to pay back. Keep that in mind. That information is on our free WFLA app. Time now, 6.06, and we all know paying for college isn't cheap, but with virtual classrooms becoming the new norm, many students have already paid for services they are no longer using. Now there's a growing push to give some of that money back. Schools like FAMU and Florida State are reimbursing dorm and meal plan costs. Students say giving that money back just makes sense. So I think by at least reimbursing the dorm and the food, that makes up for 
not being there and not like utilizing those facilities because you're still doing classes online so the tuition still makes sense. Most of Florida's universities are allowing students to receive grades of satisfactory or unsatisfactory for their spring semester classes.